Hey guys, Liz Burns here and I'm ridiculously excited. I have such a treat for you today. I am sitting here with Manuel Reyes from Group One Crew. Are you excited? Excited. Thanks for doing this. My pleasure. The thing is, is that this is not the first time Manuel and I are meeting. No, man. No, we go a little bit back. We go a little bit back. In fact, this is the album that started it all. I so mean, before there was a Group One Crew. There was there an was, XYC. There I was mean, an XYC. You, we're all about the three the three letter group names. Do we? Do you remember uh, meeting at Southeastern? Do you look back fondly on our days over I, at good old SE? So do, you know what? Just looking at it, like really reminding me of like what we what we did, and I'm so proud because if you if all you if you are a Southeastern <laughs> alum, you remember this, and we were legit. <laughs> I mean, we were legit. <laughs> So it was, no, it was awesome just to see what we did. Like, this was the beginning um, of it all for me. So the the rumors you heard about an XYC reunion probably started by me on my Twitter. (laughs) Those are true. Here we are. It's true. It just just happened. We were just reunited. (laughs) That just happened. What are you doing right now? You're here in town for Night of Joy? Night of Joy. And um, after Night of Joy, just working on the new record. New record. I've been in with uh, a producer here in Orlando that we work with all the time and it's been so good, man. I, literally, I think we cranked out like five songs Jeez. in these three days since we've been here. Does it, being home, being back in Orlando, does that inspire you? Because you're by your You know, inspire doesn't, Orlando doesn't inspire me <laughs> to do anything but get out of here and get to normal weather. I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with it. Like as soon as I land, it's just so hot. <laughs> but, but you get to see mom again. I do, I love, I love, I don't. I don't like being away from my parents so much yeah. and we're on the other side of the country and so it's amazing to do that and I love working with Andy like he's amazing I'm so stoked like the new music is when coming can we out look maybe. for that when when is that gonna be around you know I have this idea of releasing the record next year but it's a it's a different format like I I, I want to hopefully okay. release a single a song every month okay you know what I'm saying so hopefully that'll very good. That'll come into fruition. Yeah. So the first one dropping in January. So we just need to keep an eye on your Twitter and your Facebook page yeah, to sort group, of know when those things are coming. Yeah, everything is Group One Crew. So. Very good. Very yeah. good. We, since the last time, well, I, last time I met you, I got to meet your beautiful wife, too. Manuel is married to Miss Angela Johnson. What in the world is that like? I feel like when we were coming up, you were writing songs about meeting a wife one day and what I that know. would be like. I was at number like five or six, like <laughs> dream girl number six. I was just going to keep writing them until I met someone. <laughs> But that was the name of the song, <laughs> Dream Girl. It was funny because I met her, it was like a blind date type thing. Somebody totally just called me, uh, my, my best friend's wife, and was like, yo, I know this girl, I think you should meet her. Um, <laughs> she's this and this and that. I've never heard of her. So I looked her up online, I watched the movie <laughs> Oh that no, she was you did in. the dreaded Google search? You know, and it, and it was funny because she, I met her at my best friend's wedding. He okay. was there, she was there, but I just didn't notice her. I didn't notice her at all. And we laugh now because we see a picture and she was literally standing three feet next to me. So I just it's didn't. true, love blooms at weddings. Is that, it, that's It really that's does. Thing. And you know what the funny part was? I caught the bouquet, the, the, not the bouquet. You caught the bouquet. I you caught, caught the, the what garter. is it called? Yeah. And I was the next one married. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching today, you're going, Lord, I need that spouse. Yeah, when the DJ says, yeah, single people get to the floor, you run. You run out there. And it worked for that. this guy. You catch that. It worked for, did it, does it make it, do you feel like in your songwriting it's different now being in love and being like in that stable relationship? What is it, I mean, does it yeah, change it, your writing? I feel like it just changes my perspective in life. It's, it is very much different. Like I'm yeah. just not hoping so much in the love category. Now it's just more realizing the importance and the weight of marriage, mm. which that's just awesome. Well, that is everything. It's yeah. just knowing and having that stability to come home to, but knowing the work it puts in to maintain too. I don't even, you know, we travel so much. She's full, like full-time touring, I'm touring. So that just, I praise God that he made me like a road dog. Like yes. <laughs> my wife, not so much. I'm a road dog. I can be out and I'm like, I love you. I'll see you in two months. You know, she can't handle it. So I had to re- rethink go. the way I do touring. Right, now, if I go out for a long time, I have to have a month off as soon as I yes. go out just to be home. Be with a wifey. Yeah. That's awesome. So. And then we're going to be having like these amazingly musically talented and comedic children coming soon. <laughs> nah, nah, no, 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 I don't think that's going to happen. You heard it here first. My wife, oh. she doesn't want kids. I don't, I don't really want kids. Um, you got like at least a, right now. You got right like a now. gaggle of nieces and nephews to raise. Yeah, anyways. I have a, we have a whole bunch of God kids and we there have go. nieces and nephews, but I don't know if kids are in the cards. Maybe. I've always wanted to adopt. There you go. I do sponsor a couple of children with World Vision. And, it's um, an awesome cause. It's amazing. Awesome cause. So do you um, now, looking back, 
when I was first knowing you, one word I used to would use to describe you would be driven. Mm -hmm. Is that what it takes when there's a kid watching this who's just got a dream in his heart and a pen in his hand? I mean, you were so driven and kept doing and kept doing and kept making records. Even if nobody at the beginning was listening, you were making records. I mean, what do, they, what do you say to that kid today who's sitting there watching this going, dude, man, well, I have a dream like you. I want to do, I think I have some talent. Well, man, I say to anybody who has a dream, like regardless if it's music or, or just anything, man, there's something about going after your passion. Like I was doing the records before I was getting... There was no money, there was no anything, but I knew, I knew that I knew that I knew that there's no way I was gonna be prepared for the door opening that the Lord would have for me if I wasn't ready, like if I wasn't prepared when yeah. no one was looking. And a lot of people always want, they want that door to open, but they Before don't wanna the do the preparation because who wants to go in a room and work for six hours a day mm. for no one? No one's gonna see it, no one's gonna know. All you know in your mind is someday, the door's gonna open and mm. it's gonna happen and you have no idea when that day is. For me, it was 12 years. Wow. Started in 94, didn't get signed till 2006, you know? Wow. But people aren't ready for that. They're ready for the stage. Yes. They, they, wanna, they wanna be on the CD cover, but they don't want to do all the work. So to, to anyone who has a dream, my biggest encouragement is work hard when no one is watching because yes. you don't wanna get the day when the door opens and you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be found lacking. Yeah. It's gonna be like, hey, you know, get some vocal lessons or mm. work on your writing or work on this. You know, I would always like in my head be like, I'm gonna be so ready. Like every time I went to the gym, I was thinking I need to be as in shape as yes. all those other artists. I need to be writing like everyone. I need to be praying. I need to be doing all these things. Cause when that door ha opens, I will be so ready that they're just gonna be like, where have you been? Work hard you know when no saying? one is watching. I like that Essential. a lot. And the thing too that that prepared you for is then when success does come, you're completely more grounded in it. It didn't take you by surprise because you were preparing and working. And I think that's such a principle with anything in life. And I'm just proud of you, buddy. I want Thank you to you. know we're proud of your success, proud to see where you come up from. And you're the real deal. This dude's the real deal. So mm, thanks for thank meeting with so me much. today. It's my pleasure. Love you, buddy. Love you. All right, we'll talk to you soon. You can always check out more information on Manuel on Twitter, um, Facebook. You could go to iTunes, get the Group One Crew Music. You do yourself a favor. It's amazing. You'll enjoy it. And uh, we look in here for more updates. Until then, we'll see you next time.